Hello YouTube. This is actually the historic town of Bigelowville, Pennsylvania. We're right here next to the railroad tracks at Inland Container. And we're gonna find out where these tracks actually lead to. There's a lot of history here right at these tracks. During the, right after the Civil War and during the Civil War for all you historians that like to do the underground railroad tours, model railroaders, anybody else that likes history about railroads in Gettysburg. We're gonna take a ride out here to where these tracks actually take us. There's a pretty sad story here behind Biglerville. There's a secret out here where these tracks go back here behind the uh, container factory here, cardboard container factory here in Biglerville, Pennsylvania. It's about six miles north of Gettysburg. We're gonna take a little short little trip out here. I gotta do all this in about 10 minutes. But here, I, over this hill right here, the tracks go right in here to this hill, right into those woods. Okay, keep that in mind. The tracks leave right out of Biglerville, into the woods, into that hill. Okay, let's get down here to the road that takes us back to the village back here. It's called Guernsey Road. It takes us back to Guernsey Village. There was a village here that was subsidized off of Mr. Cyrus S. Greest. He was a local Quaker farmer, probably the second or third generation of settlers that settled here in Adams County. We're going to go back here. And he subsidized a few lots off his farm back here where people built a creamery, a post office, Right over the hill, you see it down here? They had a school, and they had their own general store. And there's more to it when we get down to the village. There's a secret. You can see the village down here at the end of this little road here. See the village? This is where the railroad tracks bring us, right out of Biglerville, Pennsylvania, six miles north of Gettysburg, this little village of Guernsey, right here. This is it. This is the village. This home here was probably the creamery back in here behind these bushes. This home was probably the post office. And there was a store here and we're coming up from the south and I came up from the south to show everybody what's hidden back here and you make a left here heading out towards Newville Road on the Quaker Run Road and look at that we have a train crossing here there's the school here's the train crossing now back in the Civil War days, there was a black man, African American, that worked on this farm over here on the Guernsey farm, where there was a mansion built. He, the man, the African American, was shot in the head, and the owner of this mansion up here, Greased, was vice president of the Gettysburg Railroad. After he was shot in the head, he went all out cut these railroad tracks in 20 feet deep and built a train station in behind his mansion. Here, this was probably the general store here. These tracks are cut in 20 feet deep so you can't see, you couldn't see his train if he hit it. You couldn't see this train station. Now the mansion's since been burnt down about 15 or 16 years ago and I think that's a ticket booth. But here's the old tra train station after the Civil War. This was the second stop, the second train station in Biglerville, Pennsylvania. We're gonna pull in here and look around a little bit. But the mansion sat right here. The mansion sat right 
right here and it hit the train station has a bell tower in the top and this was his refuge for the African Americans after the Civil War and his son actually let the cat slip out of the bag that he was helping the slaves up to this farm here north of Gettysburg he had a mansion here he had their own railroad set up for him he had the creamery the village the hide the train and the train station as you can see the, the rails are back in here they're cut in deep you wouldn't be able to see that train and nobody on the train would be able to see the train station or the mansion until after they're done and leaving the village and looking back and they wouldn't be able to even hardly tell nothing was here sitting here right beside the railroad tracks but look at the size of this train station it's got a bell tower it's got a mess hall they bring him in early in the morning before sunrise and uh, he would feed his friends and he did all this at the age of 31 he was a railroad tycoon here in Adams County look at this farmland there's a mansion sitting right here in the 1880s that's the village that was built in the 1880s to hide his train station to hide his train if he had to and I'm sure he did he was a very wealthy man he was very smart he hid this train station from the south you could not see this train station at all it coming up from the south only from the north only from the north side of Quaker Run Road coming down that road right there you could see the train station that was the only way you could see this place really amazing.